Hey everybody, how's it going today? Uh, we've got about eight or nine boxes to open today, uh, so let's get to it. I'll open these priority mail envelopes up first. I don't know what comics are in all these, just ones I've ordered over the past week or two. First up we have a couple of early Fantastic Fours. We have number 18, the first Super Scroll. This one's a nice mid-grade copy or so. Next up we have FF number 20. The first Molecule Man, another decent mid-grade copy. Excellent. Another part of the mail thing here. Let's rip this one. Tape. So we can slide the book out. There we go. I'll save this packing material. It's a nice hard cardboard. And one last little piece of tape. There we go. Ah, this is a book I've been looking for for a long time. It is Detective Comics number 73, which I believe is the first Scarecrow. Package well. Awesome. Colors on this book are really nice. Spine. Spine has the most damage, but it's a really nice copy. The cover is detached. But look at that. Beautiful book. I'm starting to started to hunt down these early detectives. So you'll be seeing a lot more of them. Alright, next step, we have another party mail envelope. Lots of cardboard again. And there's the comic. Pop that guy out. more. What do we have? Oh, just an X-Men 33. <laughs> so, Juggernaut's one of my favorite characters too, uh, but the reason I have this book is because uh, I won it, I placed a really low bid and wasn't expecting to win, you know, this book, but um, when I won it, you know, shipping is like, I don't know, 10 or 12 dollars for one book on this guy's auctions so um, I tried to win a whole bunch more but only ended up winning this book so I think I paid more in shipping than I did for the actual book but hey it's an X-Men 33 it's mid-grade condition nothing special let's move on oh, gonna get some And got it. Mm. 
Okay. Here we go. I think this is the first copy of Luke Cage Hero for Hire, Hero for Hire number one I've ever had. Which later becomes the Power Man and Iron Fist series. So yeah, they've got a Netflix show, uh, Luke Cage, coming out later this year. So hopefully this book will go up in value or, you know, stay where it's at right now at minimum. But yeah, I haven't owned a copy and I've been looking for one, so decided to pick up a, a nice mid-grade one. Um, and yeah, happy to have this one. Cool. Um. Sorry, you guys couldn't see that. Okay. So we have some more packaging here. Open. And more packaging inside. Ooh, right, this guy packed this pretty tight. Oh, you can see the first books there. I have no idea what this is. I don't remember what this. I remember ordering any modern books. Oh, wait. Yeah, I ordered some Deadpool books. But that was like two and a half weeks ago. Did go out of town, so forgot what I ordered. Went to WonderCon. Had a good time there. I'll do a WonderCon video. In uh, a little bit, let's see what we have. Oh, I have to cut this real quick. There we go. All right, should be yep. Just some Deadpool's from the early nine or the late nineties series, Joe Kelly. Uh, they're a bunch, they're uh, a couple of them in one bag, but basically I uh, got some issues from the 20s to the 40s. I think there's about 12 or 13 of them in there. Um, yeah. So yeah, Deadpool's pretty hot right now. Just wanted to finish up my run. But uh, yeah, if you don't want to buy the single issues of this Deadpool series, I recommend getting the Omnibus, uh, the Joe Kelly one. All right. Okay, next box. This one looks like it might be a slab because it's a big box. Deadpool, we have, not a super high grade copy, but an affordable high grade copy of New Mutants 98, this one's an 8.0, pretty nice, let's see, Yeah, this one looks pretty nice. Uh, not too many spine ticks or anything. Just has some uh, softer corners, is all. But great. Okay. Let's see. Two more. Two more packages today. Let's see what we got in this one.
Ah, nice. Double boxed. This is always a really good way to ship goods securely by double boxing them. You can order these priority boxes for free from the post office. Um, forget which numbers the boxes are, but yeah, they fit right inside of each other, so it provides great protection for your books. Let's see what I got. Even another box. Or another little package here. Alright. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is a book that I've been after for a very long time. It is my favorite World War II cover. My favorite timely book. Captain America Comics number 37. This book's been going up and up and up, and I fortunately was able to grab this one. Oh, that's such a beautiful cover. This one, I think USA number 7, all select number 2. Some of my favorite war covers, but this is my favorite. Um, been looking for this book for a very long time. Finally, finally got one. So yeah, an awesome day today for Golden Age Books in the Mail. Look at that cover. Got the Nazi flag being torn down here by the Allies. And right in the middle you got the American flag coming in. And this guy screaming. Awesome book. Well, I don't think we can top that today, but we do have one more little package here. So let's crack it open. Okay, what do we have? Ah, we have two early Marvels. We've got Strange Tales 101 and Amazing Fantasy 13. Amazing Adult Fantasy 13. Nice little pre-hero book. Yeah, too bad it's not two issues later, you know. Amazing Fantasy 15, but um, definitely like to collect this early pre-hero run of Amazing Adult Fantasy, so I think I've got issue uh, 14 as well, somewhere. And then we've got Strange Tales 101, a nice lower grade copy. But overall, great, great pickups, happy with what I got. Let me just spread out my books that I picked up today. Got action. Got the X Men. We've got my favorite book of the day, Cap Thirty Seven. New Mutants 98, the other Golden Age book, Tech 73, got Hero for Hire still in the uh, cardboard there, and finally we just have these modern Deadpools, so I'll stick those, I don't know, right there. But anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, looking forward to the next video.